Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at corrections to set theory partition. So the first question we have here, we have list the elements of A, and we have A, the set A is X such that it is less than X, is less than X, and X uh, less than 4 and x is an element of uh, natural number z. So what this means is that I want to list out the elements. Right. So that is a equals so what 8 is less than x. So if 8 is less than x that means the number, the first number of the value of x will be greater than a. That is what now because x is an element of whole number, right? Integer. Z there means integer. Integers are also referred to as what whole number. So that means going to be nine because if x is not an integer, all right? So it means the next number after it will be eight point one or eight point zero 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 one. But here we are saying that x is an integer. So therefore, it's going to start from 9, so 9, uh, 10, and 11, and x is less than 12. So because it's less than 12, 12 will not be included. So therefore, the answer is 9, 10, and 11, and that is also 8. So I hope this is very clear. Alright, so for question number 2, we have, uh, this is the element A. So the same thing, list the element A, and A is given, says A is given to be X, such that minus 1 is less than X, and X is less than or equal to 7, then X is an element of what? An integer. Alright, so remember of integer. So, it's an integer. Alright? So, let's List this house. So the first one is x minus 1 is less than x. So that means the number that is greater than minus 1 will be the first one. Because it's an integer that's going to be 0. Alright? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since x is less than or equal to this, equal to the 7 will also be part of the answer. I hope I'm with you. So, therefore, the answer here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is option C. So, that is out of that one. So, we move to uh, question 3 now. For question 3, we have list the elements of A. So A, so what we are given is A, uh, SSA is X such that S is a prime number, is a prime factor, is a prime factor of 60. So the first thing we are going to do here is to list out the factor of 50. So that will be it's going to active, uh, assist us. So factor of 60 now. Factor of 60. So if you don't know the meaning of factors, there will be a problem with this one. Factors of a number are all the numbers, all whole numbers that can divide the number without the remainder. So 1 is a factor, 2 is a factor, 3 is a factor, 4 is also a factor, 5 is a factor, 6 is a factor, 7 is a factor, uh, 7 is not a factor, but 7 cannot divide this. Sorry for that. The other method I use, to, I use a lot for this is 1 and 16, all right, 2 and 30. 3 and 20, then 4 and uh, 15. 4 and 15. 
will give us uh, 60. Then 5, when you divide the 5 and 12, 5 and 12, then 6 and 10. So that's how we list the factors of our 60. Now, the next is, let's now bring out the prime factors in this. So prime factor here, prime factor here, will be 2, 3, 5, there's no one. So therefore, A says A is 2, 3, 5. So that is answer to that. 2, 3, 5. That is option C as well. Option C as well. And there's another method you can also use. You can use uh, this division method by having the 60. Now use the prime factor that we have to divide. 2 is the first one, that gives 32. can see go. That gives 15. 3 can go. That gives 5. 5 can go. So the factors we have, the prime factor we have is 2, 3, and 5. So that gives us the answer. All that is very clear. So move to question 4 now. Question 4. Number 4. So which of the following pairs of sets are equivalent? So we've talked about equivalent fractions and also talked about uh, equal, uh, sorry, equivalent uh, sets. And we also talked about uh, equal sets. So equivalent set, uh, sets are sets that have the same number of elements, while equal sets are sets that have the same elements. Different thing. That means how many elements we have in sets A, how many elements we have in sets B. So if they have the same number of elements, if set A has five and set B has five, that means A and B are what's equivalent. So let's now look at the options we are given here. We have A, uh, option A, we have this says 6, 8, 10, and then uh, and says N, N. So these two sets are not the same because number of this one is three, number of this one is two, so they are not what they are not equivalent. And then for B, we have uh, we have sets this with one element and we have an empty set which is zero elements. They are not also the same thing as well. Then C, two, three, five, seven, eleven, then two, two, three. 11, 7, 5, 11. So if you look at this, uh, you notice that we have, let me write it down, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Then we have another one. We have 2, 2, 3, 11, 7, 5, 11. Now, then let's write D house and we need to compare the two. So we have uh, x such that x is uh, x squared minus 2 minus 1. So that is factorization. So that will be x squared minus 2 minus uh, plus 1 equal to 0. That is one set. And another one is uh, 0 less than equal to that. 0 is equivalent to 1. So, this one is this one. So, when you factorize this one, you have, uh, we're going to have uh, this and this one is 1 times 1. So, that's going to be, we're going to have uh, x squared. I want to factorize the x squared equals to uh, x squared minus x minus x then plus 1. That's how we're going to have it. So this will give us x into x minus 1 minus 1 into x minus 1 as well. So therefore, x minus 1, then x minus 2. So therefore, this set is for x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 1. So therefore, the element we are going to have in this one is just 1. So this one are not the same thing as well. Now let's now come back to this one. How many elements do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In a set, 
If an element is repeated twice, we count it as one. So we have two here, we have three, and three is also here. We have five, five is also here, we have seven, seven is also here. We have eleven, eleven is also here. So this uh, is the same, they have the same number of elements, which is of five elements. So the answer is option C. I hope this is very clear. So you are very careful. So there are some questions like this that will be a little bit tricky. So if case is not taking, you miss this question. Alright, then go to question number five. Which of the following pairs of sets are equal? So I've explained equality of the sets. So they must have the same item. So option A we have uh one three five seven nine and three one five nine seven. So no matter how it is arranged, just look at it. You have the elements that yes. We have the same elements in the set. So here, the answer is option A. Because if you look at option B, you have zero and empty set. They are not the same. If you look at option C, in option C, the first set, there is no A, the second set, there is H. They are not the same. They must have the same element. Let me write it out, option A. So that we need to analyze very one, three, five, seven, nine. One another set is we have three, one, five, nine, seven. So if you look at these two sets, they are the same, they are equal because we have the same element. One is here, one is here, three is here, three is here, five is here, five is here, seven is here, seven is here, nine is here, nine is here. So they are the same. So this one is not well arranged. Why this one is well arranged? So the, this, the answer is option A. Then question six now. Question six. So we have the question asks us if A <coughs> if A is equal to says A is equal to five, seven, eight, nine. Right? And B is equal to four, seven, nine, eleven. So the question asks us to find A intersection B. A intersection B. So intersection, we've talked about intersection. Where two sets meet, where they have the same thing in common. So what is common to set A? The element that is common to both sets. So 7 is common. So that is it. 1. 9 is also common. That is it. 9. So that is the answer. A is called to A intersection B is called to 7. Nine. That's also C. So this one is straightforward, right? So move to question seven. So question seven. So we have if the universal set is this two, three, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, right? So, and says A is a prime factor of 21. <coughs> prime factor of 21 <coughs> has 3 and 7. 3 and 7. And the prime factor of 21. This is how you can find this. Let's go to 21 and express it. So 2 cannot be 3 is the next thing, that is 7, 7 here, yeah. so the two factors are this. So now, the question now is, write down A complement. So complement of the set, we discussed that as well, is what we have in the universal set, the elements in the universal set that are not in set A. So you can see that we have 3 in set A, there is 3 in the universal set. 7 in the universal set, 7 is also here. So the remaining... Uh, elements are the what? A complement. That's going to be 2, 4, 10, 13, and then what? 16. How this is very clear. 2, 4, 10, 13, and 16. That is option B. <coughs> then number 8. So if A is this, and B is this, write down A minus B. So A is equal to this. 
And the B, we have 3, 5, 8, 4, 17. Alright, so A minus B is that all the elements we have in A that are not in B. So let's fix out the ones that are common. So the remaining ones in A will be the answer. So 3 is a 3 is a 5 is a 5 is a what is it again? So that is all. So the remaining one is 2, uh, 7, 11, and 13. So this is what? A minus B. A minus B. If it is B minus A, so this will be the answer. A square 17. So the answer here is 2. 7, 11, that's option A. How this is very clear. So it's very important for you to go through the video very well. Now, number 9. So if A is this, uh, I think the same question. The same question. So the question now asking us to find B minus A. So we've already picked the ones that are in A. So we <coughs> are saying all the elements we have in B that are not in A, so that is going to be 8, 12, and 11. 17. 8, 12, and 17. Is that is option D. So the last question we have here, number 10. So we have if A is this a it says a is five seven eight nine five and the b is four seven nine eleven so we have to find a union b so a union b is that we are going to list all the elements in a and b Combine them together without repeating an element twice. So we have 4 in B, we don't have 4 in B, we write it out. There's 5 in A, and we have 7, 8, 9, and there was 11. So 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 11. That is option one, option B. So that is us, uh, this video. So we are going to meet in the next class, 5 class.